three. But when she was five years old, her mom and her dad came to us and said, uh, our daughter needs heart surgery. And who better to tell you the story of what we do each and every day at Children's Medical Center than Miss Waddell. Miss Waddell. Hi everyone, I'm McKinley. Um, I'm a junior at Prosper High School. I've played sports my whole life. I, um, I act, as um, Chris might have mentioned. Uh, I was on a show on ABC that aired after Desperate Housewives called GCB. It was short-lived, but it was fun. And, uh, it was really fun. So um, I'm here to share my story with all of you. When I was born, I was born five weeks early, I had a hole in my heart. And the doctor said it was clo it would close as I got older. But then when I was two months old, they ended up diagnosing me with dilated cardiomyopathy. As new parents, my mom and dad were sort of freaking out. Uh, my mom being uh, who she is, she immediately you know, looked it up, trying to figure out what she can do to help me as much as she could. And she found that dilated cardiomyopathy has a really grim prognosis, and there weren't a lot of really healthy survival stories. Um, my doctors end up saying that I was gonna need a transplant, and I think all of you might know that that's probably not something you want for your kids. And so my parents started looking for other doctors, second opinions, and they ended up finding my doctor, my current cardiologist, Dr. Fixler, and he said, no, let's wait. We, she doesn't need to look at a transplant right now. And um, so they put me on medication, and I started getting better. But then when I was two and a half, I went into congestive heart failure, and I was rushed to the hospital. I ended up having open heart surgery to put a small ring around my mitral valve because it was severely leaking and just severely impairing my function. After the surgery, I was a new kid. I could do anything that I wanted. And when I look back on my stay in Children's Medical Center, all I have is fond memories. I think of popsicles, I think of my family, I think of jokes and laughing, and so when people ask me, they're like, wow, that must have been so tough going through something like that, and I'm like, no, you know, it was actually really fun, and I wouldn't mind going back. <laughs> it was really fun, and uh, the rainbow popsicles up to my ears, the people who wanted to play with me, and um, they really, the doctors at Children's Medical Center and nurses and everyone who's involved with my care, they dumbed it down for a five-year-old and they made the process so easy. It felt like I was still with my family even though I spent a lot of time in the hospital. I mean, this, the care that Children's Medical Center gave me, it saved my life and it gave me a platform to do things like this and to speak to all of you and help raise money for Children's Medical Center because without Children's Medical Center, I wouldn't be here talking to you because I might have had a heart transplant and then I could, that my body could have rejected my heart and then I could have, you know, ended up passing away. And so the people who help take care of me, they've, they've saved my life and they've given me so many opportunities that I know I wouldn't have had if it had turned out any other way. So when I look back and I think about my future, what I'm going to do and how it's all going to turn out, I know that when I have a kid, which it's going to be a while, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my kid to Children's Medical Center. And I want to encourage every single one of you to... Donate to Children's Medical Center because you really never know when you're going to be in a position where your child needs help or someone you love needs help. And I mean, this hospital is, it's not a hospital. You should just call it a family. So. <laughs>